Welcome in front of me I have Garmin Epix Pro Gen 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. Once you see the Apex logo on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. One thing uh, to mention before we continue is that you can pair this watch with the iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically, if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the other way is to do it through the settings uh, once the watch has been already set up, because you can set it up without pairing it with a phone. So first I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, through the uh, settings. Okay, and once the watch is turned on and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory uh, default settings, you will see the ready message on the screen and you can press the start button uh, to continue and it will open the list of languages. You can scroll through it uh, by swiping on the screen, find the language you would like to use on your watch and once you find it, tap on it. And as you can see, we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do that, so tap on the check mark or press the start button. And the watch will enter the pairing mode. Once you see the QR code, it means that the watch is in the uh, pairing mode. So now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our iPhone. And to do it, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. And once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in uh, Garmin Connect. And on the in the search res results, you should see the Garmin Connect application. Tap on it then tap on the get button to download and install the application. Okay, and once the application is done installing, which took a while, uh, tap on open. If you see the pop-up about the Bluetooth permission, tap on allow. And now we need to log in into a Garmin Connect account. If you don't have an account, tap on create account button right here. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, uh, tap next, and log in. So give me a couple seconds. And the app should detect your uh, watch automatically, like this. Also, you may see the pop-up about the notification permission. Uh, if you see this pop up and you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch allow it if you don't care you can deny it okay and once you deal with the permissions you will see this page basically the app detected your watch tap on connected tap on pair allow or deny the permission for the notifications here tap on next and as you can see we have a uh, option to transfer the settings uh, from our devices. Basically, we have a backup and we can transfer the settings. And you can select the settings for the watch if you like to, and then tap on transfer settings. I'm just gonna tap on use default settings. And here we need to set up, or rather we can set up the bedtime. This is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep, so you won't be disturbed while you're sleeping. And you can edit the uh, times by tapping on edit, and you can tap on the bedtime, change it to whatever you like and then select the days on which should be active and then tap on done. And once you're done setting it up, tap on next. Here we can uh, enable the location permission or allow the location permission. This is useful if you want to uh, get the weather updates from the current location, see the, uh, basically track the routes of your activities like running, cycling and stuff like that on the map and other uh, things like uh, that require lo location. So if you want to use the, these features, you need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it uh, denied. 
Next we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to track the calendar events on your watch and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow, tap on allow full calendar access and then allow full access. Then tap next, sync now, finish. Next, and here you can go through the tutorial of the watch. I'm just gonna tap on skip, dismiss, and you should see the homepage of the app. On it, you should see icon of your watch. And if you tap on more and Garmin devices, you should see your Epix Pro right here, which means that the devices are paired together. Now, I'm gonna disconnect the watch and we're gonna pair it through the settings. So remove uh, settings, back Bluetooth, forget this device. Okay, so now let's connect our watch through the settings and to open the, or rather enter the pairing mode on our watch through the settings, we need to uh, press and hold the menu button. And once the menu opens, uh, scroll through the menu by swiping on the screen find the connectivity option. Once you find it, tap on it, then tap on phone. Uh, and once you tap on phone, go back, select the, rather not go back, scroll down, my bad, select a uh, pair phone, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Now we can open the app. And if you installed it for the first time, you will need to log in, uh, but I already have the app, op uh, log or rather, I have the app installed and I'm logged in, so, I see the home page and now I can tap on more uh, Garmin devices and add device and it's gonna start looking for the nearby devices. It should detect our watch. We can tap on connected uh, pair and basically uh, did do the same steps as we did before. So allow the ordinary 90 permissions, uh, set up the bedtime, I believe, yes. And then sync now. It has problems syncing right now for some reason, so we're gonna tap on uh, skip sync for now. Okay. Skip the tutorial. And here we have the home page. And if you tap on more uh, Garmin devices, you should see your uh, watch. And it's sending the software updates for some reason, so we're gonna leave it at that. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video, helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.